What's up everybody, it's JP here with AllThingsBionic.com and today we're going to be having a look at a new ROM that's going to be coming out very very soon. It is by Son of Skywalker 3 from the Droid Hive forums and uh, this is a blur based ROM that can be flashed in save strap which makes it a very one of a kind ROM and I'll tell you why in just a little bit. But before we get into it I would like to go down just a short uh, little feature list that uh, he put together. It is DODEX.232 ICS leak. It uh, has been debloated. Uh, there is no bloat, no uh, Motorola or Verizon uh, bloatware left. Uh, he left only basically the stock Android apps. Uh, he did add the file manager from CM9. He did add Beats Audio, the 1% battery mod and um, a different launcher. He did replace the blur launcher with a different launcher. Uh, this can be flashed in safe strap, which makes that that's why it's such a one of a kind ROM because usually blur based ROMs are so huge in file size that safe strap uh, can't handle them because safe strap has a file size limit. And this ROM just comes in at just below 150 megabytes. So Definitely a uh, small blur based ROM that uh, is going to uh, definitely be light, uh, lighter than uh, stock on the on on resources, and that's basically what this is. It's basically a de bloated DODEX uh, two three two leak um, that uh, is definitely a lot probably going to be a lot lighter on system resources. You're not going to have a bunch of uh, apps clogging up your app tray as you can see. Actually, when I started, uh, when I um, when I just flashed this ROM, it actually there was only one page of apps. This the second page here. There wasn't a second page of apps. It was only that one page, which uh, definitely is uh, definitely down from like the three or four pages that the uh, ICS leak um, comes with. Um, to start off, uh, basically everything that was on the .232 leak, except for all the bloatware from Verizon and Motorola is uh, fully functional on here. So as you can see, if we go into system settings, uh, your settings menu is the same way. I can also go tell you or show you that we are indeed on Android 4.0.4. .4. We are on 6.7.232. And this is indeed a Droid Bionic. Anyway, that's just some boring boring stuff. Um, as you can see, we'll just show you right off the bat here that um, it is indeed, you can see that 1% uh, one, that 1 battery mod in, in action right there. And it actually is uh, accurate like it's supposed to be. And speaking of the battery mod, uh, the battery life on this ROM has actually been uh, fairly good because of all the deep loading and stuff that has uh, gone into uh, the making of this ROM. So it's definitely going to be probably, uh, the battery life is definitely going to be better than uh, stock uh, 232, but um, probably not going to be uh, uh, better or uh, as good as an AOSP ROM like uh, Liquid, ICS, uh, CM9, or AOKP. But that aside, this ROM is is very quick and um, actually I can show you here after all the optimizations we'll just do a quadrant score here which um, you know with the ice cream sandwich leaks the droid bionic got a very very nice speed boost from that because the uh, gingerbread was is it just not optimized for the dual core power of the bionic and uh, ice cream sandwich takes advantage of both of those both of those cores and all of the RAM and everything like that and as you can see we are getting to the input output start uh, part of the quadrant benchmark and now we're on to the 2d stuff and now we're doing the 3d benchmark um definitely uh, it should be a, a little higher than stock I don't know off the top of my head the exact number of uh, that uh, stock benches, but um, we'll see what uh, this ROM comes out to be. And it looks like we're just about done with the benchmark here, and we should see a very 
a very decent score here. Um, all right, so our device there, I don't know if you can see that. Let's see here. Our device is 2,929, which is almost a score of 3,000, which is definitely, um, definitely a very good score. Definitely still competitive with a lot of uh, today's devices. Um, one thing that did change, though, is that your uh, you no longer have a blur uh, camera, which uh, can be good or bad depending on uh, how you uh, how you think about it. Because the and um, all of the blur custom ROMs, the camera seems to break for some reason, and nobody has been able to figure it out why. So um, camera ICS has been included with the ROM, um, as I mentioned before. Uh, Beats is included, so you have all of your base boosting, equalizing effects that you would like to apply there. Uh, file manager from CM9 is also in there, and uh, what else? Uh, I think, yeah, these are. Uh, I believe a lot of these are still blur blur apps. I mean there's not a lot of difference between the blur and AOSP versions of the stock apps anymore because uh, Motorola definitely uh, cut down on their blur. But the launcher that is included here is the Nova launcher which you can always replace if you like. Um, other than that this ROM is basically stock. Oh it does include smart actions which is a uh, definitely a, a really nice add-on because a lot of uh, blur-based ROMs that I've come across just don't have smart actions, and one of the reasons I upgraded to the uh, Ice Cream Sandwich Leak is because of the smart action. So I was like, uh, "Yay for smart actions!" Because, um, and I noticed that if you try to install, um, if you try to install uh, smart actions on like a an AOSP ROM, that you don't get these options here at the bottom that say like "Sell your data" and "Background Sync" because. Uh, it needs that extra framework that Blur gives smart actions that isn't present in uh, AOSP or AOKP. So other than that, uh, this ROM is pretty much stuck with uh, optimized. Um, uh, it's pretty pretty bare bones. Um, like I said, this ROM can be flashed in safe strap, so be watching the Droid Hive forums for this uh, ROM because it will be able to uh, uh, flash and safe strap, which is a big bonus uh, for people who want a de-bloated, de uh you know, totally optimized uh, version of the uh, of stock without having to go in and remove the bloat themselves and deodex the ROM themselves. It's just kind of uh, somebody, somebody, somebody decided to step up and and do it themselves and release it for everybody else to have, which is really really nice. So be watching for this ROM. It's called Black Hole Bionic, and it will be coming to a Bionic near you very soon. So that's all I have for today, guys. Uh, I'll see you in the next video.